is a thingy 11182. This is um, what's on the inside of one of these. Let me adjust the white balance a bit. That's what's on the inside of one of these anchor power banks. I strongly advise you don't try and open one of these up. They're an absolute nightmare to open up because there's tape. Um, there was some tape here as well on there that holds these battery packs in. And these are Samsung ICR 18650 30B cells, genuine Samsung ICR. And on the back here, we've got the. What's nice is they do have a thermal. Um, a thermal sensor there, so uh, if the batteries do get hot, it does have a thermal cutout. Um, so it looks like there's probably some sort of voltage, maybe some sort of balanced charging going on here because we've got the negative here, the positive here, two in parallel. Let's have a look. What have we got? Um, looks to be like that. Although I can see. Some connection going on there. Yeah, so it looks like what they've got is these two here are in parallel, these two here are in parallel, and then down here they're connected in series. So these two in parallel, then connected in series to these two back here. I apologize for the camera focus, it's really not wanting to focus. And then the connections are up here negative and positive, and it looks like they might have some sort of balance lead. Um, that's the thermal sinking there. They've got some thermal pads here and here. I've just activated it. This one's um, it's a terrible design, to be honest. It's shake. This one uses a little. Um, let me see if I can find it. Um, it uses a little shaker motion sensor thing. I think it's that little. It might be there. Nope. No, that's a that's a big resistor. Okay, I can't see it, but there's a little shaker sensor, and that's how you uh, shake it to activate the lights and activate the charging if you plug something in. But if you plugged in an Arduino project or something, you're not going to want to shake your battery bank when you've got a bunch of wires connected to it. Ridiculous design. I'm glad they switched to using a button on the newer Anchor versions. Anyway, that's the uh, cob LED set, the um, rotary uh, style. That shows your battery... Uh, life. It's got three USB ports, uh, A type, one micro, uh, micro B, and um, on this side that's basically, it's got a big grounding connection there, some sort of possible shielding. Might just be a big ground plane, it might be us heat sinking going on there, by the looks of it. And on this side, you've got more of that heat sink, like I said, with these uh, thermal pads. So, yeah. Uh, overall, not bad quality at all. You've got some big fat connections there. That solder is a bit dubious. Uh, that's alright. It's just a, it's okay. Um, so, yeah. Oh. So yeah, I've only got a little bit of battery life in this before I took it apart. But do not, I suggest you don't try taking that apart, it's a nightmare. I had to cut up a card, and very carefully shove it under just to break away these battery packs from that board, otherwise it would have ripped the, it would have either broken these connections here, or it would have ripped this thermal pile connection, whatever it is. Um, it's a little thermal sensor. Thermal resistor, sorry. Um, I can't think of the name off the top of my head. But uh, yeah, thermostat. But uh, that's inside the anchor power banks. This camera doesn't want to focus, it's being absolutely ridiculous. Oh, this is being ridiculous. I'm going to have to find a different camera up for the phone to make some more videos, guys. But uh, yeah, neat little package. Right, so. Uh, I can't show you shaking it to activate it because it has a timeout on it, but uh, I'm now going to put it back in its uh, packaging here. Which uh, goes together as a clamshell design, but it's a human nightmare. And the LEDs shine through these um, sort of light pipes here. Yeah, there's little light pipes in there. But, uh, it require the use of uh, 
<laughs> screwdriver like that, a screwdriver like this, very small, and I can grab it. A cut up Starbucks card as a, a little shimmy. Um, you do really need something like that. Is that going to shake to it into bit? It's probably too flat. But uh, yeah, the charging status is indicated by those LEDs as well. Anyway, I just thought I'd just do a video inside this thing because I doubt anyone's going to bother opening these up. It's a bloody nightmare. Thanks for watching.